right here presenting now, ladies and gentlemen, a drawing with the Jin Hao 250 fountain pen. A entirely metal fountain pen coming out of China. And I think it unfairly gets lumped in with a lot of those cheap Chinese uh, knockoff pens. Um, and it is a cheap pen, uh, clocking in right around maybe two, three, five, six, seven dollars, depending on where you get it from, how much shipping you're paying for, so on and so forth. But I unboxed this pen in a previous video with a couple of others that I got on wish.com. Kind of a weird website, not really sure what to think about it. Um, but you can get it for Amazon, on Amazon or something, wherever you like to buy pens. I don't know if it, I don't, I, I don't know if these type of pens really pop up in like your general arts and crafts stores. I don't see, personally, I don't see a lot of fountain pens, you know, in Michaels or, you know, AC Moore or whatever. They haven't really infiltrated the mainstream market, um, at least, at, at least in my part of the country where I live. But it's a, like, it's a decent pen. I mean... Um, I, that's why I wanted to do, it, it felt good in my hand. It felt good when I was doing like little, my little scribble tests with it when I unboxed it in that video. So I wanted to, you know, delve into it a little deeper and do a whole drawing with it here like I'm doing in this video. Just to see if it really, if it really can do a whole drawing. Not that a whole drawing is that impressive, but that whole time it didn't skip or give me any trouble at all in this, uh, for this video, I'm using Waterman ink. It's just fountain pen ink. A lot of people ask, you know, like what kind of, when they get a fountain pen and they don't know what kind of um, ink to use in there. And they ask, you know, I get all sorts of messages saying like, what should I use? Really, um, if you just Google fountain pen ink, all, all those, there's so many different kinds, different brands. And then out of every brand, uh, there's probably different colors and chains and different types of those. And you can get cartridges. There's lots of different types of uh, universal cartridges that can fit in, for example, in this Jin Hao pen, for example, and in other ones as well. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It, it works well. And I have, I have had no problems with it so far. It pro my suspicion is... Um, it'll probably work well for a long time, but just the, f you just kind of, you know, in the back of your head that you spent $5 on a pen. So it just might not have the longevity of a pen that you spent a little bit more on, but maybe it will. Maybe it's just, maybe the whole, th the whole fountain pen market is a scam and the $20 pens, you know, maybe those you're just spending four times too much for. Who knows? And maybe these pens do spend, you know, they're, maybe this is what it's all about. I don't know. I mean, the, the nib doesn't flex a bunch, you know, like some of those other really crazy, you know, like vintage pens with the golden nib and everything. Like, it's not quite the same uh, fountain pen experience in that regard. Uh, but it's still, it's putting down the ink quickly, solidly. I had fun. And then here at the end of the video, I even, pretty crazy for me, I even uh, had the guts to add a little bit of color with a little bit of colored pencils, a little bit of red, a little bit of green. And then to dodge the early Christmas spirit, because not even Halloween yet, and I don't really like doing ha uh, like holiday-themed things for some reason. I don't know, that just bugs me. Uh, I add a little bit of yellow. When I do colorful things, when I do add color, I, I really like adding yellow for some reason. No matter what I do, yellow seems to go along with almost anything and brighten it up. In my limited experience of adding color to drawings, that's what I've felt like so far. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So, what do you guys think? And I also have a Jin Hao. I mean, I don't want to, you know, it's like, there are, you know, I don't want, like, everyone to be like, I bought a Jin Hao because I saw you using one. I mean, it's five bucks. I mean, if you got five dollars lying around, maybe get one. But maybe wait until you, I don't know. I don't want to tell you, I don't want to tell you to go buy one, but I'm not telling you not to buy one either. Uh... I have other pens I like more, but they also cost like four times as much. But almost anything costs four times as much as this. 
because it's so cheap. Anyways, all right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.